Well, like your heart rate right now is at 116. At the Corey Stringer Institute at the University of Connecticut, lead scientist Douglas Casa is racing against climate change to help folks stay safe in the summer heat. Every single day there are people dying because they don't have the proper strategies um, to do their job or sport in the heat. Do more people die of the heat than the cold? Without question. All the kind of natural things, hurricanes even, combine them all together, the number of deaths doesn't come close to the heat. This is one of the sensors. In his lab, his team loads me up with sensors, testing my sweat rate, core temp, and heart rate before sending me into the heat chamber, where temps can soar to 120 degrees with up to 90% humidity. Now you want to get it going? So right now this chamber is 99 degrees. And what, and what percent humidity ever? So right now it's probably around 40 to 50 percent humidity. So this is a typical day in the South. But if we're working in these conditions, it's dangerous. It could be very dangerous. It could happen in three, four, or five minutes. It could go from feeling okay to not feeling well at all. In just minutes of walking in those extreme conditions. I mean, I'm definitely starting to feel it. Yes, and that was just only five to ten minutes. And this isn't even a really hot summer day. Yes. It's not just the scorching temp, so it's the humidity. So I'm sweating, it's humid in here, but my sweat is not helping cool me so down. So some of it evaporates, it just doesn't evaporate as efficiently, and that's what removes heat from your body. So when it's humid out, what extra things should folks have in mind? Well, you need more breaks, they need to be longer, you benefit more from the cold, wet fluid on your body. As soon as we're out of the chamber, Casa shows us his science-backed strategies to cool down. An example would be like a cooling towel like this. And something as simple as that could yeah. bring down my temperature yes. one degree? So, yeah. For an even greater impact, a cooling truck seen at events and along the sidelines nationwide. In just five or ten minutes, it's going to be two or three times faster than if you were just cooling sitting in the shade. Casa says these strategies save lives, especially for anyone who works outside. Laborers are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s doing 12-hour shifts in the heat. They're by far the group that we need to protect. Our world is changing. It is, yeah, so there's, there's no question about it. Everything is revolving around how will people do their jobs, their sport, and even live their life in the heat. Aaron McLaughlin, NBC News, Stores, Connecticut. We thank you for watching, and remember, stay updated on breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or watch live on our YouTube channel.